Empress Laura and I'm making some ash cakes today just like the Indians did 400 years ago. The Indians will grind corn until it looks like flour and uh, what they're going to do is add to the corn they're going to add water and animal fat so that they have um, what looks like cornmeal. Then they're going to take the corn and they're going to make a little patty and it'll look like a sausage patty. They can add water and animal, uh, water, well they add water and animal fat. They can also add nuts and berries and they cook it right in the ashes. Um, they're gonna cover it with ashes and ashes don't have any germs. So once it's in there and it's covered with ashes, it's gonna cook, okay? And then when they take it out of the ashes, it will look like this. It will be hard and uh, they'll still just brush the ashes off and they'll eat it and it'll taste just like um, cornbread. Um, it, it also what they can do with this is dip it in stew to soften it. Would the Indians would have had wild rice. There's also something similar to quinoa, which would be lamb's quarters. It's a seed. We have uh, parched corn, which was the dry corn, uh, which will, uh, the waters are soaked up. I mean, wild rice and any dry solution of something will really soak the water up very quickly. So we have all of these things together. Um, there's also, I'll have to get the crab leg and show you. Here's a crab leg. There you go. There's the crab. And, and some small clams. Here, let me grab a small clam. Look at that. <laughs> Um, so there's turkey neck, there's corn and beans, and here it's squash. So the Indians uh, were eating very well, um, you know, a very healthy diet. And plenty. They had different ways that they cooked. They cooked in clay pots, they cooked uh, over an open fire, and they also smoked them. And they cooked in the ashes. And in the ashes. And here yeah. earlier we were. Uh, My name is Laura, and I'm cooking dried pumpkin today. 400 years ago, the Indian women grew vegetables, corn, beans, squash, and pumpkin, and they would cut up the vegetables, put them on a smoking rack, which was made out of just tree branches tied together. They would smoke the pumpkin and dry it out, and this is what it looked like. Then they would put it in baskets and they would take the baskets into their houses and they stored them up high and they would stay preserved until they were ready to eat them. Okay, so this would be an example of a basket of pumpkin, dried pumpkin.